very nice and sharp. <clears throat> Next slide. <clears throat> this is, I just wanted to show you this structure here. This is absolutely not supposed to be there. And apparently it is the ruins of a, of a ship that was destroyed 9,600 years ago. Next slide. <clears throat> Piece of shard. Two miles, two miles tall. Piece of what? Shard. Shard, piece of metal. Next slide, please. Okay. On this photograph, I want you to just take in the landscape. Okay. I want you to take in the landscape of what you see here. Now I want you to look, focus in on this area right here. I want you to look at this area here, and I want you to compare it to the rest of the landscape. Just focus your eyes for a minute. Okay? I want you to focus on this area, and then the rest of the landscape. What's unusual about this area right here? Anything else? Maybe the way these things are all lined up together, right. nice and neat, and, and then these structures right back here. Next slide. Okay, here's another picture of that. Okay. Oh. <laughs> this here? No, that's an arrow. That's that's my arrow. <laughs> okay. This area here. I have been told by the Sayas and Moronay both is a, a base that was built by the United States, the Russians, and the British with the help of bankers using technology that was given to this elite, this ruling family by the Greys in 1954. They've been up here a long time, and this is actually considered a resort. This is not Club Med. <coughs> Next slide. More ruins down here. Here and in here. These are not supposed to be here. These are pieces of spacecraft, apparently, that were destroyed um, 9,600 years ago in, in, in a, a war that took place in our solar system. Next slide, please. Okay, this is the same structures I showed you earlier. Here's some more ruins. Now, I want you to look at this area right here. This, apparently, is what's left of a dome, one of the dome structures. And these pieces that you have on the inside are pieces of the roof that just fell to the floor of the dome. You can look, you can see it, you can see there's a circumference. Here's part of the wall that's fallen down this way, okay, and here is part of the dome that is still intact. If we go to the next slide, I might see a little better, but we'll have to focus it right here. Well, maybe not. Okay, this was also destroyed in that war 9,600 years ago. Next slide, please. And if you can see this, uh, this is very light. This is a piece of a bridge that crossed this crater where half of it's gone and half of it is just still standing there. I don't know exactly how many miles across this is. But again, how did our astronauts miss this? Next slide, please. Okay, these are more ruins. I, I myself have even had trouble seeing some of the things in this. Um, but they've been very strong about this particular area. So I felt it was important to include it and just share it with you because maybe somebody in here will see something more than what I see. You know, people often do. So I'm just trying to share it. Um, these structures here, it's just, it's a weird place. Again, this is along the equator on the far side of the moon. Next. Yes, sir, they do. Yes, sir, they do. And, um, you know, some of them are full-fledged mountains, and they're just not supposed to be there. Next slide, please. Okay, now, look at this. Okay. 
Is that the best we can put? Okay, I think Thanks. so. This area here apparently are, is a domed complex inside this crater, and I'm told that the world government picked this area because there's water underneath it. These are domes. These are a series of domes that are lit up from the inside. Is that square thing the pyramid? Which thing? This? This here? I don't know exactly what that is. It's not discernible in, in, the, in the pictures. You know, I think sometimes they purposely blur these just a little bit. Next slide, please. Here's another area in another crater. This is all lit up from the inside. Next slide. <clears throat> the structure here. This piece, this thing here, this length of, of object, whatever it is, is 13 miles. And it's just sticking up outside, out, out of the crater. Next slide, please. Okay. Now, I want you to look at this area right here. Everybody see this area? Is that a yes? Okay. How many of you have been to the Sears Tower in Chicago? You ever been to the top? It's about a mile high, right? Yes, that's what they say. It's about a mile high. Next slide. Here it is again. Now, I want you to know these photographs were taken from me. This particular photograph was taken by the Lunar Orbiter at 86,000 feet. <laughs> okay. According to Morinay, this is seven miles high. And it's a monument to one of the old ETs. Next slide. Here's a close-up of it. Your suspicions are pretty accurate. Back up just one more time. Okay. Now let's look. Now look. Now just you know, look at the rest of the terrain here. Okay. Look at the rest of the terrain and just look at how this sticks out. Seven miles. How come our astronauts missed it? I mean, I hate to be redundant, but I'm just hoping somebody will have the answer. <clears throat> Next slide. Oh, we did that. Okay. One more time. Okay. This particular area, I'm told, is now being reactivated. Um, they say, Warren A. Vesayas have said that all of this are ruins and that there are underground facilities all through this area. And I just wanted to share it with you because they're very strong about this particular area. And this is a dome that is apparently that was still left intact. <coughs> Next slide. <coughs> Square craters. Now I've asked, I've asked uh, Morinay specifically, and he said there's no such thing as a square meteor. <laughs> so, <laughs> just one of them weird things. Next slide, please. <laughs> okay, craft sitting here, hanging over a crater. Next slide. These are all taken by the lunar orbiter. Weird crossed objects sitting in the middle of craters, dead center. Next slide. This was the photographer. Let's go one more slide. Okay, back up. Thank you. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, somebody else, I think uh, George Leonard wrote this. Somebody else is on the moon. George Leonard, yeah. George Leonard. Somebody else is absolutely living on the moon. I am told that there are 35,000 full-time human beings from Earth living on the moon. And they are Aryans by birth. Now let me just say that one more time. They are Aryans...